This is Fir Park, home of Motherwell Football Club, and on August 3rd, 2011, the venue for the opening ceremony when the International Children's Games comes to Scotland. This stadium will be buzzing with excitement with the parade of athletes, entertainment and, of course, the torch. The 2011 Games will see 1,500 competitors coming together, so let's see the venues where the sporting action will be taking place. Runner Barry Hendry and footballer Paul McCafferty are part of the Lanarkshire 2010 team that's going to Bahrain. They're going to join us and explain a bit more about each of our venues for next year. And on the way we can take in some of the sights and attractions that Lanarkshire has to offer for all our ICG visitors. This is the John Wright Sports Centre in East Kilbride and it's here that we'll host the athletics events next year for ICG 2011 in Lanarkshire. I'm told by those that know about these things that it's a top-class running surface and I know the facilities for athletes, coaches and supporters are excellent. The staff here are well used to hosting large-scale events and they're looking forward to welcoming you here for ICG 2011. That's M&D's Scotland's theme park. It's right here in Strathclyde Park where ICG Lanarkshire 2011 will have its headquarters and we've already booked it for a night of relaxation and fun for all our competitors. Hi, I'm Barry Hendry and I'll be running the 800 metres in Manama this year. This is Hamilton Golf Club and this will be the venue for the golf next year. Here at Hamilton Golf Club they're really supportive of young players and have been supporting the ICG 2011 preparations from the start so you are guaranteed a warm welcome. It's a challenging but excellent course. Hamilton takes its name from one of Scotland's most historically influential families. Low Park's museum was originally part of the Hamilton family palace. This is the Dolan Aqua Centre in East Kilbride. Its Olympic-sized swimming pool will be the venue for the swimming in ICG Lanarkshire 2011. At the moment there's a bit of work going on inside, so we can't go into the building, but I'm assured that everything will be ready for the summer of next year. In the meantime there's no shortage of swimming pools here in Lanarkshire, so the swimmers can get in plenty of training while they prepare for their heats. Summerley Industrial Heritage Park is a fantastic day out and a chance to find out about Lanarkshire's past, ride a tram and even go down a mine. Hi, I'm Paul McCafferty and I'm part of the football squad which will be taking part in the International Children's Games in Manama 2010. This is Wisher Sports Centre, this is one of many facilities which will be used in the Games in 2011. It's great outdoor facilities but during the Games in 2011 all the action will be held indoors as Wisher Sports Centre is the venue for the volleyball. Motherwell Heritage Centre is another of the many museums here in Lanarkshire. It tells the story of this town and the surrounding area. This is going to be the venue for the tennis next year. It's great indoor and out facilities and I know it's going to be a great venue. This is a private club that has been an enthusiastic supporter of ICG Lanarkshire 2011 from the start and has a really active coaching programme. It's a great place to play and I know they are keen to meet the ICG competitors from around the globe. And right next door is another one of our venues, the Palace Grounds. The Dukes of Hamilton were entombed here in the mausoleum. It got into the Guinness Book of Records for its famous echo, the longest lasting of any building in the world. This is the Ravenscraig Regional Sports Centre. As you can see, they are still putting the finishing touches to it now, which means that it will be brand new when it hosts the badminton and the judo in the ICG's 2011. The design has been carefully thought out to make the most of natural light and ensure that the spectators and competitors enjoy coming here. New Lanark is one of two UNESCO World Heritage Sites right here in Lanarkshire and tells the story of the birth of the Industrial Revolution. The other World Heritage Site is the Antonine Wall, the northwestern boundary of the ancient Roman Empire. Scotland's a football nation and these pitches at Hamilton Palace grounds are well used all year round and you're guaranteed good playing facilities and changing areas. The staff here are used to hundreds of players using the grass, all weather and indoor pitches, so will be well rehearsed to ensure the footballers need only worry about their playing. This is Strathclyde Park, which will be the hub for ICG 2011. In addition, the loch here will provide the setting for the sailing events. It's hosted everything from world rowing championships to dragon boat races, as well as club competitions and regular sail training. In addition to that, Strathclyde Park will provide the backdrop for a spectacular closing ceremony designed to ensure that all the competitors from ICG 2011 head home from Scotland with happy memories of a fantastic experience. I hope our tour has given you a flavour of what awaits the ICG teams when they arrive here in Lanarkshire in August 2011. And I'm sure you'll agree that we have some excellent sporting venues lined up and a wealth of attractions away from the competition. One thing we didn't show you is where the teams will stay, but we know that's one of the most important details.
We can promise comfort and security in specially prepared team dormitories in carefully selected schools, chosen because they offer both the right standard of accommodation and easy accessibility to training and competition venues. This bedroom was set up more than a year in advance of ICG Lanarkshire 2011 to see how well it worked and to give plenty of time to properly plan and accommodate all the young athletes and coaches. Teams will be given a full briefing on arriving, including a DVD to show fire and emergency evacuation procedures. I, as First Minister of Scotland, extend invitations for as many people as possible to come to the International Children's Games in Lanarkshire in 2011. Great venues, fantastic site at the hub in Strathclyde Park, wonderful weather in Scotland. You can be assured of a very warm and hospitable welcome and we are delighted to be hosting the Games. <laughs>